This week's episode brought to you by futurevoicesofamerica.org and V-Link Solutions. Hello everyone, David Nicholas here. This week we wanted to give you guys a little education when it comes to learning more about the political world. I was at the dentist the other day and the hygienist said something to me that I hear actually quite a bit. She said, you know, I want to get involved in politics, but I just don't really know where to begin. And then a picture of presidential candidate Mitt Romney came on the TV screen and she said, see, like that guy, I don't even know who that is. So that got us thinking, maybe it would be important for us to take a little time out and give you guys the resources that we go to to read up and learn about what's going on in the world of politics. So get your pen and paper out and take some notes. First, there's a website called Real Clear Politics. Just go to www.realclearpolitics.com. What's great about this website is that they pull a lot of the top articles of the day and list them right on the homepage. It's basically the top articles from both sides of the aisle, conservative and liberal journalists, economists, and commentators. I usually start my mornings off by reading a few of the articles off this site. If you can spend just 15 minutes on this site a day, you'll be surprised how quickly you start to learn and understand the topics. Secondly, there's a website called TheBlaze.com. This is a newly launched venture, but it is a valuable resource. What's great about The Blaze is it reports the stories that you'll never hear in the mainstream media. It covers an array of topics, and you'll be shocked about some of the stuff that is going on that's not being reported. It's a great site. Next is a website called MisfitPolitics.co. Uh, once you're a little bit more buttoned up on the issues, this site is a great resource. They call themselves The Misfits, but they have a team of writers that will have you laughing the entire time while you're also learning. Their smash hit video, Attack Watch, went viral last year and recently won the award for Video of the Year at this year's Blog Bash in DC. Definitely check them out. If you're in college, there's a cool site called thecollegeconservative.com. It's all college students and they have over 40 contributors and they're growing. The brilliant piece called My Time at Walmart was a huge success and highlighted the issues facing abuse in our current welfare system. Highly, highly recommend this site, especially if you're currently in college. Another great site is called truthaboutbills.com. Truth About Bills provides up-to-the-date information on current bills in the United States Congress by providing the briefs and full text of all the relevant bills up for debate. Truth About Bills will tell you exactly what you need to know about what's going on in Washington. You should definitely check them out. And lastly, human rights are pretty important to us here at Future Voices, especially when it comes to the lives of the unborn. There's a youth-led moment dedicated to building a culture of life and ending abortion called Live Action. You can visit their website at liveaction.com. They use new media to educate the public and investigative journalism to expose threats against the most defenseless among us, the unborn. Well, that's a wrap for today. We appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have a blog or organization that you'd like us to highlight, just let us know. You can send me an email at davidnicholas at futurevoicesofamerica.org or just send us a tweet to at future underscore voices. We appreciate you guys tuning in, and as always, be sure to check out our website, futurevoicesofamerica.org. Until next time, I'm David Nicholas. Stay informed, stay tuned, and we'll see you soon.